The internet is going nuts tonight, and for once it has nothing to do with cats or Kim Kardashian's backside. The fuss this time is over a scientific discovery that puts our normal human preoccupations into interplanetary perspective. Here's ABC's David Curley. It sounds like something sci-fi, but NASA's Mars Orbiter has seen something only imagined. Liquid water has been found on Mars. The essential ingredient of life on the red planet. Look closely. During the summer months, little rivulets, streaks develop 12 to 15 feet wide, a football field long. That, scientists say, is a salty, even briny water which disappears in winter. Billions of years ago, Mars had an ocean. Was there life then? And with this discovery, is there life now? The discovery really is most exciting because it suggests that it would be possible for there to be life today on Mars. It could also change a manned mission to Mars. Water on that planet means that astronauts, if they travel to Mars, may not have to carry water and other resources. Is this really a breakthrough for humans to visit Mars? We could use that water, use that water to drink, of course, to break up into its parts, hydrogen, oxygen, breathe the oxygen, and hydrogen, oxygen is a great rocket fuel. Right now, only rovers like Curiosity are on the surface of Mars, but with the discovery of water, a human visit becomes a bit more of a possibility. People down here on the original blue planet having some fun online with the announcement, sharing this very literal take on the discovery and this updated snapshot of the Mars rover. In your face, Neil Armstrong. Some people even joking on Twitter that it's all an elaborate promo for an upcoming Matt Damon movie about a mission to Mars. I've done the math. Checks out. For Nightline, I'm David Curley in Washington, D.C. I wouldn't put it past that crafty Matt Damon. Thank you, David Curley, for that report.